Championship match later in the show. So the winner of that match will meet the winner of this match. Taylor definitely got a score to settle with Logan. Logan defeated him in their first encounter. Lock up, good lock up right there. Very. Especially a smaller person like Logan. Tender does not care who he faces, Brian Lynn, Bobby Otis. He 
either just tailor it, I mean, until they set it. Um, the benefit is this match is happening before that ah. title main event. Ah. Uh, so it's ah. a little more fresh going, you know. Assume when they get that championship match. Wow, what a rough landing for Taylor. I don't know if he used to make the count. Uh, One. New digs, two, new uh, tough spots to three, land in here. Four. Just gotta be careful not to get your head off that. One. Hogan going to get Taylor two. up here. No intention of winning by uh, count out. Keep two right in that nonsense. Four. Trying to, trying to defeat Taylor Made straight up. Five. Come oh. on, come back in the ring. Six. Face first. Seven. Eight. Oh, broke the count. One. Again, Taylor doesn't want to win by oh. count out or DQ either. Two. He wants the proof that he can defeat Luke. Uh, uh, He's got him in a gut wrench. Four. Oh, what he's trying here for. He's gonna take him right in the ring. Wow. That sheer strength right there. Logan fights out of it. Shoulder to the gut. Oh, wow. Iron foot by Taylor. Not gonna lie. Logan gets the shoulder up out of what was one of the most precious spine muscles that I've seen in all of WWE. The height out of that. Taylor definitely has some supporters here. I mean, he is a long stick WWE guy. You know, people respect him for that. Logan only been in WWE about two years now, as opposed to Taylor five. You know. In a way, Logan, uh, Taylor's the last of a dying breed. You know, he came in WWE, arguably WWE, right before its main prime in 2012 when the roster was ginormous and uh, really, you know, paid his dues, worked hard against uh, WWE uh, high-end alumni, Eric Drake, Dave Austin, Big C, Rush, you know, name it. Uh, been in the ring with both of them. I watch players. Logan was trying to get out of that and wisely went to the side slam. He was able to just overpower uh, Logan real quick right there. Okay, we maybe looking for a suplex. And Logan trying to. Into a bridge. Two. Oh. It's taking a lot out of Logan to hit that fisherman buster right there with a bridge. Uh, rough landing for Taylor, but he's able to get the shoulder up. Double championship match on the line here. And Taylor wisely buys himself some time, throws Logan on the outside. It's a savvy veteran move right there. One. Logan coming back. Oh, big shot right there. Second shot. Let's go. Heard that one. Three shot right there. Taylor, 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 don't ref the layoff. Neckbreaker, Taylor. Taylor is a big match player, and uh, he's proved that at the Hunter Show. He won his he won the hybrid and step off CJ Price at the 10th anniversary. He won the hybrid and Supreme in a double title match against Bouncer and Aaron Douglas. So you know he, he comes to play. You know and he's got a number of big victories under his belt. And 
been in the ring with some of the biggest guys in WWE, the smallest guys, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's wrestled everybody that's been put in front of him, and, uh, Wrestler on the roster that hasn't been the champion. Yeah. Oh, he likes that curb stomp. Really likes that curb stomp. He's serious damage with this one. I'm sure he likes it. WWE banned this move, so it's all his. Oh, wow. And recover. Yoshi Rook, new number one contender. No. Logan gets his shoulder up. Logan. What? Chances of number one contender becoming the number one contender still exist. Right. That was three. He's definitely was taking two. a beat, and you can see all over his oh. upper body. He's got shot marks and welts and all that stuff. Taylor's really, really put the boots to up. I mean, Logan had great control of this match earlier, but the, the tide has changed. Um, what are you doing there? And he's maybe taking off that top turnbuckle. Yeah, you know, he's got to watch out for that. Um, Turnbuckles are already tough as it is. Look, uh oh. Maybe for another spine bust. All right, Logan, Logan, hold on. He hold on. He hold on. Oh, kick to the midsection. They go for uh, something. Go for something into the ring. I call him. He's holding the rope. Taylor gets his shoulder up just barely. That was as close as uh, Logan's been to winning this match. Uh, he's had a couple of, that was almost three right there. That's split second the other way. Logan would have had an opportunity against either Otis or Brian Olin. Maybe we'll see later. Logan does notice that the top turnbuckle is off. Oh, across the face. Logan trying to get this crowd going here. He's going to the top, he's going to the top. Stalking, stalking Taylor right now. Uh oh, he got caught, he got caught. Uh oh, uh oh. Made for the F5, made for the F5. We might have a new number one contender here. Found it. Yeah. Has defeated Logan X and Kentucky Revelation in fair and square. Despite the fact that he did intend on uh, using that top turbo to his advantage, Logan had to work around that. But, uh, after Logan went head first to the outside of that turnbuckle, this match changed drastically. Logan with his firm control of it. Uh, almost had Taylor a number of times, but Taylor persevered. That's what he's been talking about doing. And uh, he, he's going to be fighting the winner of Brian Lynn and Bobby Otis. Tough loss for Logan. He's definitely going to have to go back to the run.